They come from Africa, Latin America, and Asia. They've individually seen how mining industries have exploited their country's resources and in the process devastated their communities, everything from precious stones to water. One of the main issues is water and the way in which it's misused. It comes into our communities naturally, but those resources are drained by mining companies. This results in the population not having enough water. It also limits agriculture. The Vatican is listening to their stories. The Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace is hosting a two-day conference from July 17th to the 19th titled A Day of Reflection. United with God, we hear a cry. It's a way to hear first-hand accounts of what's happening and what can be done to help vulnerable communities. For example, this man from the Democratic Republic of the Congo lost his job to a mining company that purchased the land he worked in. He says he was then violently targeted. All these voices lead to the same direction. Faced before these situations, we cannot allow indifference, cynicism, or impunity to continue. It's a message that ties into the Pope's recently published encyclical, Laudato Si. It highlights the need to respect Mother Nature and not take advantage of its resources. In fact, Pope Francis issued a letter to organizers of this conference to show his support.